Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome to the first episode of Chad's Beer Reviews for 2012. This is a really, really special beer because this one has been generating a lot of hype over just the last few months, and people are saying this is like the Pliny of the East Coast. And it's actually relatively close to me. It's just a three, four hour drive away. Uh, Jay actually went all the way up to, uh, I forget where in Vermont, Waterbury, Vermont, and bought this in person. This is the Heady Topper by the Alchemist Brewery, 8% ABV. Can't hold the, the, the can is like a mirror with writing on it. It's that shiny. But they do make such a point of saying, drink from the can, drink from the can, drink from the can. Um, but I'm going to pour it into a glass anyways. Alright, well it's a pretty typical, you know, double IPA. Orange, straight orange, a little hazy. Nice head on there, it's like white, frothy. Hmm, smells like a West Coast IPA, very stone, very Racer 5, just massive citrus on this. Very, very Pliny-like, actually. Definitely the grapefruit and more of like the juicier, sweeter nectar type, like a tangerine or a passion fruit or guava, or something like that. <sighs> smells really enticing. Jay said this is one of the best beers he ever had in his life. And it's too bad I didn't get to try it in 2011. But maybe that would be really interesting if, you know, the best beer of 2012 is the first beer of 2012. So let's give the Heady Topper a try. Cheers. I don't know what Jay's talking about. That's not that good. It's great! <laughs> Man, I am not a good actor at all. Um, yeah, okay, it is It is very, very Pliny-like. Um, massive, massive bitterness as soon as it hits your tongue. I don't think I have use on this. It's, uh, I think they said it's over 100, but I, it definitely felt feels like that. In the middle and the back end, you get like all the juicy sweetness that I mentioned in the nose. Like kind of like tangerine, orange, Passion fruit guava. The hops are lingering here though, so it's quite dry, so I'm gonna take a swig already. Amarillo type, oranginess, and the the probably all the C brand hop varieties, Cascade, uh, Chinook, you know, you name it. Didn't have those citrusy type qualities. I do get pine pine on the back end. So it starts out like, you know, Dry, bitter, just straight bitter, like orange, orange juice, almost like tart, like fresh squeezed orange juice. Um, starts to transition to the more juicy, nectary type uh, citrus and tropical fruit flavors with the pine, leaving kind of like a sticky pine resin aftertaste, almost like what you get in a wet hop IPA, but not quite that, that resiny. It's amazing how this beer can be this you know, this bitter, and at the same time, so refreshing. Just like every time it's on my tongue, I'm just like, it's like drinking like NOS. You know, it's like my favorite energy drink, which I actually think is refreshing. Um, it's so damn easy to drink, too. It's not, you know, super highly carbonated. It's not tepid. It's got like almost kind of a, a creamy texture to it. The body is like, you know, medium kind of thickness. It's not one of those sticky syrupy IPAs which is you know pretty impressive considering it's 8% ABV and you know when you get in that high gravity the IPA is going to turn into like carbonated syrup. It, 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 they actually made a point of saying you know uh, the hot resins have settled to the bottom leave them in the can when pouring. So let's uh we'll try it from the can. I think it was the first time I ever reviewed something straight from the container. Now it's starting to taste like that sticky syrupy type IPA. Uh, uh. Yes, the, the the description on the back is correct. It definitely is very resiny, more of like that stringent type bitterness at the bottom of the can. But but I say it's you know in the Pliny ruination sculpin territory stuff like that. Really really tasty, refreshing for an IPA, which is rare. Um, 8%, doesn't really feel like that heavy of a beer. Um, 
you certainly don't taste or smell any alcohol. Um, the high drinkability on this one, um, you know, very smooth, you know, easy to drink and taste is great. What's not to like? It's a, it's a pretty much perfect beer as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, um, I'm going to give it the full 10 out of 10 to the Alchemist Heady Topper. I can see, you know, why it's getting the buzz that it's getting. Well, I got nothing to do my send off with, so thanks for watching this episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's Beer Reviews. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.